Hello, <laughs> welcome back. This is episode 40 of my Final Fantasy VII Let's Play. I had to end uh, episode 39 really abruptly because I got a call on my phone. It's actually just like a spam call on like WhatsApp. So it was nothing, but regardless, I had to stop, drop, and roll. Here I am, I'm back. This is not a blind let's play, I've beaten this game several times. Beware of spoilers, because this is a deep and layered game, and if I catch some kind of foreshadowing that I've never seen before, I will not hesitate to call out events that have not yet happened in the game. Hasn't been happening too much. Uh, nonetheless, it could happen, so I like to forewarn people at the beginning of every episode. Uh... Yeah, I'm typically not fighting a lot of these multi-enemy battles out here, because it just makes it take forever. They, like, use all these really long animation attacks on me and stuff, and now they're blinding my characters. They can't hit worth crap. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna run a lot. Oh, time level up! Uh, unfortunately, there's no haste 2 or anything. Uh, but slow. I mean, so I can slow all the enemies. That's actually kind of a neat, neat thought process. Also, I just noticed, um, since I was in the menu for so long, that this area is called Corel Valley. So this this is not even on the same continent as North Corel Town and the Corel Prison out in the desert. So what's the deal with that? Like, it's literally two different continents. It's Aside from being across the ocean, it is still somewhat close to Corel and all that geographically. It's like right across the water, but it's interesting. Like, why, what, why is it named after Corel? What does Corel mean? It's interesting to me. You could say it's like Coral, but it, to me it looks like Corel more than Coral. Although the plants here kind of look like coral, so eh, maybe it is from that. Who knows? None of the other places named this have anything to do with coral, though. But, oh, look at that parallax background scrolling. I mean, that's that's fucking sweet. Let, okay, let, let's exit, and then I'll go do that at normal speed so we can get the effect better. Oh, hello. S steel. Let's get a cure 2 in. Let's attack. Nothing to steal. Okay, we'll do morph. Oh, we killed it. Destruct, level up, and heal, level up. Okay. Oh, so we have Hisuna now. Dispel. What does Dispel do? Will it tell me in here? Destroys function of any barriers, so I can reduce enemy barriers. We'll just take them down. Makes magic ineffective. So, makes magic ineffective. Oh, is, does that like take away any other buffs? Like it'll take away haste or stuff like that? Maybe. It's interesting. And then, Isuna, cures unusual status. So, do I have another all? Barrier all, restore all. Oh, right, I have barrier all. I do have another all materia. Oh, I would need, uh, I would need a different item on him. So, we'll, maybe once... Because the Seraph Comb is such a good weapon, and it's the one from his father. So it's important to keep on him. Maybe once I have the next piece of armor where I can do three pairs, I'll move this up here somewhere. Maybe get rid of heal, or... Or no, I'll switch heal down here and do heal and all. If I'm capable of doing that. But, okay, yeah, let's... So, no, 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 we're walking up here. Oh, this is a cool area. Whoa. It gives you the illusion that you're, like, coming up to a cliff and then that shit's way down below you. And this looks like you're running off into the distance. Yeah, very cool. Oh, and it starts to move down even as you go downhill. Ah, oh, here we are. We're further up into the northern map. Right on. Let's tent up again. We're safe.
icicle area. Oh, this music. Look at that water. Pretty nice. Okay, we got multiple paths. Let's go this way. Holy shit. Gonna be random battles too, I assume. Oh. What is this called? Oh, we're at, we're here. We're at the Forgotten City. So, uh, yeah. This is the end of, uh, disc one. As the game was, um, divided on the original PS1. So this is, like, this is a big, important area for the plot. This, I think, is like a house. It's like a giant seashell. It's very cool. Oh, we got a free materia up there. We got a little fishy. Yeah, what a cool area. Oh, and that's also an exit of some sort, somehow. No enemies inside here. That's pretty sweet. Oh, comet materia. Oh, I gotta put that on somebody. Comet magic. So that's probably... Uh, well, it looks like it's uh, non-elemental magic, so kind of the same as Bahamut. Ooh, Comet, Comet, Comet. I mean, let's... Uh, Struck added effect. Bahamut. Okay, let's get rid of Ifrit. Let's put Bahamut up there. Let's... Go for Comet and all. Fuck it. Comet all. Fucking right. That's pretty cool. I want to use that spell just to just to see what it looks like. It's almost sounds like a lesser version of fucking Meteor. What is technically the difference between a comet and a meteor, and a meteorite and an asteroid? I know they all have specific meanings. Now, what's with that other entrance showing there, near the fish? Don't know, but I couldn't find my way to it, so. Also, no random battles so far. I mean, I'm not gonna be mad about that if I can just kinda wander around here. But let's move around slowly for a minute and just put ourselves in the in the mode of someone playing this on PS1 back in the day. We're on a CRT TV, the graphics are appropriately blurred, so this looks a lot more realistic. And we're here in this place with this trippy music. We're chasing after Eris and Sephiroth. We can feel that events are building. And there's not even any enemies to fight. You're just like wandering around here. This is cool. Oh, this is another house. I think we might end up staying here. Save up. Okay, there's the back exit, I think. Magic source. Do, 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 do. Does it give me an option to sleep on this bed? Fucking Flintstones bed made out of rock. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Was that something? Yes. Ugh. Words of the ancients? No oh, good, I can't understand. Ugh, again? The stream of consciousness. Could this be the words of the ancients? No oh, good, I can't understand. Okay. Can't actually do anything with it. Okay, is this the same room? Or is this like above? Where uh, that seashell house was? Aurora armlet. 
drains cold attacks. Okay. Okay, so cold drain. Oh, and look at all the defense it gives you. And magic defense. Drains half of fire cold lightning. So the, the issues that were... Oops. I'm gonna lose... Oh, maybe this is why Tifa is getting more damage than the others. 58, 57, 50. 33. Uh, okay, let me see what materia she's got. Can I sacrifice three materia? Maybe like Ramu. Ramu, Deathblow, and Lightning. Maybe we're coming up against a boss soon that's going to use ice attacks. Cool. There's a red thing there. Oh, that's to, that's up top. Oh, that this place up top here that looks like it has the diamond in the middle? Pretty sure that's where disc one ends. So, okay. Let's check all these little cubby holes. God, it's so nice that there's no enemies attacking us. Oh, yeah, this is the end of disc one right here. So, okay, so let me go back out. I know it's a, a ways back, but now we know where this is. Just got to go back out and explore the right-hand side. Mm. Oh, more voice of the ancient stuff. Yeah, he says the same thing in all of them. Ba -na 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 -na. They're all the same. They look like kind of like supercharged Mako. Maybe like natural spirit energy Mako deposits or something. Because wasn't... Uh, there was something that happened a few episodes ago that made me think like Mako wasn't just something created by... Shinra, but that there could also be natural Mako sources or something. I can't remember what it was that uh, made me think that. God, this is one of those games, like, to really put all the pieces together on everything and to have an understanding of everything you come across, you would have to, like, write it all down and then organize the information in a giant, like, uh, like the meme of the guy with, like, the cigarette and, like, the bloodshot eyes who's got everything up on the post-it board. That kind of thing. <laughs> so we've gotten a guard source and a magic source so far, so this might be another one of those areas where they give you a lot of the different uh, stat items. Elixir. The elixir of life. Oh, okay, here's the place where we stay. It looks like there's a bed here. Shall we take a break here? Uh, I think we might shall. Na, 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 na. Oh. Those voices coming in makes me feel like I'm in Area Zero of uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Those games are damn good. Damn, damn good. In my opinion. Do do do. Okay. I feel it. I feel it right in my neck. <laughs> Sorry to to uh, cut the mood there. Just had to get that reference in. What's wrong? Are you sick? Feels the possession? Oh no, he feels Eris. Eris is here. Oh yeah. And so is Sephiroth. What? Sephiroth's here too? Well, the person outside of the forest did say that a man in a black cape and a girl in a pink dress both came in here. But how can you tell? 
It's not an excuse. I feel it in my soul. What do you mean it's not an excuse? Nobody thought you were making an excuse. Or maybe he's saying, like, it's not a lie. Like, I'm not... This isn't just an excuse for me being weird. Like, this is legit. I feel it in my soul. What should we do? We must hurry to her. Right. Let's hurry and find Eris. Let's do it. Did it change to nighttime? Like, is it nighttime now? Am I just imagining? No, it is nighttime. The music changed. You have to find Eris. Oh. Okay, we're up looking at this same scene. Just from a different angle. Uh. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that sent. Okay, I'm gonna go to that center part there. Maybe that's not where the end of disc one is. Maybe I'm mistaking it. Maybe it's there's this voice coming from there. Okay, let's try going here. Is this what they mean? I mean, this looks like a pretty special spot. No. Hold on. Yeah, so that's how you get through that little doorway, but... Now I feel like there's other stuff I should have explored before I did this. Like... I'm gonna try and... Now I feel like I should have gone and explored this thing in the center over here. Like I... Made a mistake. Let me see if I can now. This seems pretty important. Maybe I'll have to come back here. I'm probably just forgetting how this all goes. Oh, good thing we have the fast walking speed, so it's not too annoying to check out all the different spots. <laughs> wonder what's with all the ocean theme here, the Forgotten City. Does this imply that... This all used to be underwater. This is like, is water really like strongly related to life? So the people in the Forgotten City, like really were all about water. The ancients are all about water. Maybe the ancients, the Cetra are like, like really have a strong affinity with water. Dude, it's like we're going underneath the ocean here. And we got another spiral staircase. So, there was a spy spiral staircase up to the Sector 7 pillar. There was a spiral staircase up sh into the top of Shinra Tower in Midgar. There was a spiral staircase down in Nibelheim. Uh, in, in Shinra Manor. Then there was another spiral staircase up somewhere, a smaller one. Might have been in Rocket Town. Now we're going down another one in the Forbidden... A forgotten city. Forgotten city. And yeah, when if you were not at three times speed, this would all have a much greater impression on you too, as you're like slowly wandering around it. Did I just catch a glimpse of Eris? Yeah. So, so it, 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 this looks like the end of disc one. I think shit's about to go down here, and I'm not sure if I can come back here. And recheck that other area it wasn't letting me into. I mean, I must be able to. I think this is n not the way forward over here. Yeah, this is just a little viewing platform. There's Eris. <sighs> Let's go see what's about to happen. I remember my very first time playing this. Uh, back with my friend that owned it, going to his house after school every day. Back in... Probably was 1998 by then. Eris? Wait. I'll just go. Yeah, they really... 
Let everything sink in. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, the red on the screen. Cloud's tripping out, we got the music. So what do we know so far? We've been searching after Sephiroth. Sephiroth wants to summon Meteor. He wants to give a fatal injury to the planet so that he can take over the energy of the planet and become the god of the new, like the god of this planet. Eris is the only one that can stop him because she's a genuine Cetra. Sephiroth is basically seemingly doing the, be the bidding or the will of Genova, which was thought to be a Cetra, but is not actually. She was a calamity from the skies. We're here at the Forbidden City. Is this near the Promised Land? Seemingly the voice of the planet led Eris here. So what is going to happen? Why did Sephiroth come here? Does he need to come here in order to use Meteor? Because it takes so much power to use it? What, do you have your cloud or your, your sword out, Cloud? I remember this is what I did when I first played this game. I was like, oh, I pressed X and it made Cloud run back. Oh my God. Yeah, I tried to run away. And now I'm like wiggling. I'm trying to like move away. Cloud's like trying to fight it. Uh, uh. I'm trying to. I'll just hit X again. Oh my God. Uh, back away, Cloud. Back away. Come on. Ah, fight the possession. I'll hit X again. Ah, come on, Cloud. Don't do this, man. Ah, you gotta break free. Ah. Let me hit X one more time. Oh my god, the blade's quivering in his hand. Ugh, Cloud, stop! Oh, what are you making me do? Oh, fuck. Because, Cloud, you are... And now here we are. Barrier all. Fighting Genova Life, level 50, 10,000, weak against Earth. Oh, do I have any Earth? Because, Cloud, you're not sad or angry, according to Sephiroth. Because, Cloud, you are... And he drops this down. And it's another part of Genova that he's been carrying around with him. So Sephiroth is saying, because you're part of Genova, you're part of his plan too. Hey, Stall. Comet. Do I have Titan on me equipped? I might have Titan equipped to somebody. Only 10,000 health, that's not too bad. Whoops. Let's go Odin. Ooh, light. Okay, okay, we need a heal. We need a big heal from Red 13. Oh, wow, that's big damage. Reflect. Oh, okay, I can't use any more Comet. Summons don't get reflected, but Comet absolutely will. And you know what? While I have time, I'm just going to toss a high potion onto Red 13. Well, I'll get ready. Hopefully, I can find Red 13 quickly. Otherwise, I'll just put it on somebody, and then I'll try and get back to Red 13 to do his heal all, cure two all. Uh, there we go. Good. Okay, Red 13. Ah, let's go Lunatic Eye. Actually, it's not even going to work, but it's fine, because at least I got a high potion onto him, so he shouldn't die before he can get uh, another attack out. But yeah, Lunatic Eye might, might miss, because I already hasted everybody, and I buried everybody. So really, it's just for the sake of leveling up Red 13's limit breaks and getting him to his next limit break. I kind of want to just keep it at slow speed, even though the summon takes forever. Because mm. the music's nice. 
Okay, summon... Summon Kujata. Cure to all. Hey! Oh! Oh, fuck, you were so slow! And I picked Tifa? God damn it! I fucked that up regardless. Oh my god. They should let me select somebody right now. Level 50 opponent, though. I'm only in my late 30s. See if I can slow this bitch. Doubtful, but finishing touch. Hmm. Yeah, this is Eris' theme playing right now. Um, let's try trying. Why not? Did I slow my own party? Like a freaking dope? Oh, I slowed Tifa. What the hell? Oh, because she's reflected. Duh. Okay, whatever. Let's just keep healing. Oh, I hope this doesn't get reflected. 602, pretty good. She's attacked. Unless I... Hold on. Do I bomb it? Let's bomb it. Nice. Let's just attack. This should kill her, honestly. Fucking suplexing a giant creature like that. Giant creature. Hmm. Wizard bracelet. Because you are a puppet. Oh! So that's finishing Sephiroth's line. Sephiroth is saying, don't pretend like you're sad or you're angry, angry Cloud. But really, it's Genova speaking through Sephiroth because you are a puppet, which tells me Sephiroth is really just a puppet, along with all those other creatures. But Cloud is not completely a puppet because obviously he can fight against the possession and a lot of the time he's acting of his own free will seemingly is Sephiroth that way too or is he just given in to Genova's will is he aware of that he must be what about those other possessed creatures probably with the tattoos they're probably just Genova's will well they it would be their will to be like a reunion and then what about red 13 is he part of that as well I'm Puppet? Oh! Red 13 is sad. Aww. Tifa cares about Eris. Set into tears. Man, the sadness is just starting to hit me. It's like, fuck. She was with us this whole way. She was like, kind of the most caring and most loving out of all of us. She was the closest to the planet. And she just kept a good, good heart, a good spirit, a good smile about it all. She told Cloud, don't worry, when this is all over, I'll see you again. 
in his dream. After the Temple of the Ancients. So she had, she must have had some, being that she said that to him as foreshadowing, she probably, from the voice of the planet, had some sense that this was going to happen. She just kept a good spirit about it anyway. She just wanted to have fun. She wanted to get to know Cloud. She wanted to go on another date with him. That's just like what Kate Sith was saying. Something bothers me about watching you all. You're not paid for any of this. You make such great sacrifices, but you just keep doing the right thing no matter what it costs you. game is showing us how we all ought to live through Eris and through the other party members <sighs> through the speech that Barrett and Tifa gave to Cloud you just got to keep moving forward everyone listen to me I'm Cloud ex-soldier born in Nibelheim I came to settle up with Sephiroth what's going on I came here by my own free will, or so I thought. However, to tell the truth, I'm afraid of myself. He almost killed Eris, but he was managed to hold himself back, especially through the help of his friends who called out to him right at the end as he was able to pull himself away. There's a part of me that I don't understand. A part of me that made me give the black materia to Sephiroth. If you hadn't stopped me, yeah, he gives the credit to his friends. Eris might have been. There's something inside of me, a person who is not really me. That's why I should quit this journey. Wow. Before I do something terrible. You wanted to quit before? His friends talked him into carrying on, but now he's seen Eris legitimately die, and he saw that he barely had the the willpower, and only through the help of his friends, to actually hold back from doing that himself. Now he's even more scared of himself. More scared of what he might do. But I'm going. He's resolving himself. He destroyed my hometown five years ago, killed Eris, and is now trying to destroy the planet. I'll never forgive Sephiroth. I must go on. I have a favor to ask of you. Will you all come with me? He looks up to the sky, as if to have God witness him saying to save me from doing something terrible. Alright, Cloud. I don't know how Eris tried to save the planet from the meteor. And I guess now we'll never know. He means he doesn't know what she was planning on doing. But we still have a chance. We must get that black materia back before Sephiroth uses it. Let's go. That's the end of disc one. So there's your, uh, there's your first act of Final Fantasy VII in the three-act play. Or filmed, <laughs> three-act film, as we saw from the game over screen that shows you the film reel. Yes. Let's save. Forgotten capital. Can't understand. Well, who's gonna understand now that we don't have Eris with us? We never could have gotten here with Eris, so who... 
can understand that. Sephiroth, I wonder which way he went. Alright. Sephiroth said to me, head north past the snowfields. So I checked out this building. What was over here again? Just like a cave? Oh, there was a dead end over here that wasn't there? This thing. What the hell is this for? Nothing. I'm, I'm mashing X. It's nothing. Okay. Might as well go back and just see if there's something down here, anything. Oh, I can't even get back down there. Wow. What is the symbolism of the fish? I'm trying to keep that in mind. And it does seem to be implying that water is very important. I mean, obviously water is important to the planet. There's more water on it than land. Well, let's not save. Let's go out here first. See if there's anything. I, I, I really thought something important happened over here. Maybe it's later in the game. Let's just save, just in case. Okay, and the wizard's bracelet. Oh, we'll use a tent, too. What is the wizard's bracelet? Oh, wow. Holy shit, look how good that thing is. It's cold. Diamond bangle. Yeah. I mean, might as well put it on him. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Physical defense goes to nothing, but magic defense goes fucking enormous. But he is the healer, and he is at the, at the back of the party. And Cloud does have 60% cover now, I believe. So, yeah, I'll go with it. I'll go with it. And we'll just have to keep him extra safe. And if I can find... what Once again, if somebody can remind me where to find that shop that sells the HP up and MP up materials, that would be awesome. I wonder if it was back at the gold saucer if somewhere was going to trade for it. It's too not to use. The fact that it gives me all these uh, all these extra material slots. Um, okay, I don't have the extra all material now. What else was I going to do? Oh, as soon as I was going to do heal all. Should I get rid of Calm at all? Let's try that. I can give him Death Blow for the extra luck. Now I can have Asuna all. Just in case everybody's fucked up on weird statuses, we can fix everybody all at once. What else do we want to give him? Really, there's all kinds of things that we can put on him. Let's give him seal. Can we eventually get to silence? That could be a really useful thing to have. Um, fire. We're, we're pretty close to fire three. Let's go fire. Yeah, if, uh, if this winds up with Red 13 just getting killed too often or too quickly, then I might consider uh, unequipping that. But it's just so sweet having the eight slots already. Eight paired slots, too. It's like really good. Hmm. 
so this is why I couldn't go this way before. Okay. Oh, I remember this. This area is super weird. God damn it. I'm trying to see if there's like anywhere else I can go down here. Yeah, there is. Pretty cool little jumpy section. Gotta figure out how to get to that chest. Magma does fuck all the him, because obviously, like, elemental damage, which he has mad defense to. And he's still taking a bit of damage. Definitely need to get a lot of kills in with Red 13 so that he can, um, get new limit breaks. Oh. This place is a little confusing. This, this screen in particular. Okay, we got a kill with red. That's awesome. way out, but how do I get damn okay, uh, I guess I'll fight. Part of me wants to just like run, because I just want to really concentrate on trying to figure out how to get down to that chest. got from the transform. Viper Halberd, that's gotta be for Sid. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, where's that red light? Let's see a treasure chest up top. Oh, these are like cliffs? Okay. Hold on. Is there anything down here? Oh, I see that pink material over there. Oh, I used sled fang by accident. I mean, that's good to get in a kill, but it's bad because I don't know if I have enough uses of lunatic fang yet in order to unlock the next limit break. Okay, there's a ladder. Is it up here? Left. Oh, I was unexpected to be able to grab that chest from below. Bolt, armlet. Okay, so this is like identical to the Aurora armlet. Basically identical, just lightning instead of ice. Sure. Maybe the fact that they give it to me right now implies that I'm going to fight more bolt enemies than ice enemies at this point. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I know, like, the Souls games, for example, are really good at doing that. 
usually whatever, like, like if they give you some fire coating to put on your weapon, then probably you're gonna come up on some enemies or a boss that's weak to fire, that kind of thing. Um, okay. Yeah, up. Yeah, what the... Why was I able to grab that thing from below as well? Uh, right. Down. Hypno Crown. Oh, increases manipulation rate. So if I want to manipulate enemies, I wear that. And that makes it work more often. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, I can't go down from here. I have to go up. Uh, should I? Uh. I really just want to make sure I don't miss anything, so let's go back down. Okay, and there is no going up. Okay, so those cliffs don't matter there. Got it. What the hell are these things? Bolt 2. Hey! Bolt 2. Oh! <laughs> I thought it was little orbs. It's just shielded enemies. That's funny. Nothing to steal. Alright, I definitely gotta get healing. Barrier level up. Shrivel. At 50 minutes into this episode. Right. Definitely up. Right. Mega elixir. Awesome. Left. Up. Yeah, I'm just within the cracks of the fucking cliff. Kind of neat. God, they're really good at designing geography and stuff. Magic plus material. Whoa. Oh, he climbs automatically. Oh, I didn't even realize that. No, he doesn't. It's uh, some magic plus materia. I could put that on him to get more powerful heals and stuff. That would be kind of neat. Uh, sure, let's abandon fire. Magic plus. Fucking right. Heal will be even more powerful. Let's use barrier. That's not going to scale to magic. Probably he'll revive for, for more health. Um, makes me want to give my best summon to him. So I put Titan over here. Let's kind of put on. Yeah, Titan. Titan's good. Give him Bahamut. Okay, you can only go that way. Right on. Right. Let's smash them all! Smash them, smash them, smash them. Oh boy, oh boy. Hey, Red 13 got a kill. Let's use my newly boosted cure too. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Dazers. Source. I might as well heal outside of battle. Good <laughs> okay. Here we are on the snowfield. Um. So, yeah, I'm at 53 minutes, uh, so let me just end this episode. This is the end of episode 40. Might be my end ep last episode of the night. I might do another one tonight. I don't know. It's, uh, it's quarter after eight. Maybe I'll just end it for the night. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know uh, what you think about everything going on. Drop a comment. Fuck, we uh, we lost Eris. The, the fact, obviously, that I knew it was coming and most of you knew it was coming definitely takes away some of the impact because it's such a popular event some of the lesser known events that I was able to forget about from throughout this game have had seemingly more of an impact on me but like I think it is still very impactful because because of everything that I said when Cloud was laying her down in the water like she really embodies the spirit of giving and love and also 
just being innocent spirited and wanting to have fun and not not um, not letting the heaviness of major tragedy like ruin ruin your spirit so but let me know what you guys think well, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, feel free to check out the entire Let's Play if you haven't already. And uh, hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good life. And uh, I will see you in episode 41. Peace out.